Hey everyone, so we are back with another video. It's a continuation on our story with Mangu. If you haven't already seen that, do check that video out first. Mangu is a stray dog that was recently run over by a car and we covered a part of his road to recovery in that video. Our biggest fear was his tail. It was crushed during the accident and had started to show signs of necrosis. So when the vet first examined him, we had hoped that his body would be able to recover on its own. He was clear to reunite with his pack after spending a few days with us, but despite early signs of recovery, his tail had taken a turn for the worst. It had started to rot and we covered some of that on our Instagram channel as well. Long story short though, Mangu had to undergo surgery, a partial amputation of his tail to keep the necrosis from spreading any further. The more we spoke about this, the more the people around us started to ask us questions. They were genuinely curious about necrosis, the condition and why Mangu needed to have his tail amputated in the first place. Why were there signs of recovery and then signs of disease and rot right after? These were all good questions. Seeing all the curiosity around us, we decided to run a poll on Instagram to see if some of our followers would be interested in knowing about necrosis as well and the results were overwhelmingly positive. Everyone who responded to the poll voted yes. We were planning on doing an Instagram post at first, but then after having a conversation with Kamna, she had recommended that we do a full length video because the topic is exhaustive and we would like to cover at least some of that in detail using Mangu's case as an example. Let's start with something simple and ask ourselves the basic question, what is necrosis? If we define it medically, it's the premature death of cells in living tissue. In Mangu's case, when the car had run over his tail, most of the bones in his tail were crushed, especially at the tip. A part of the bone was left exposed and even the skin had come off. More importantly, the blood flow to the injured part had become severely limited because of which the cells on the tip of his tail had started to die. Though our biggest indicator of necrosis was when his tail had started to turn black. When we first examined the injury, the doctor expressed hope that the tail could be saved. So we placed the bone back into the tail flap and bandaged the affected area. So we wanted to give Mangu's body a chance to break down the affected cells naturally and start the healing process. This didn't work and what happened instead was that we inadvertently allowed the rot to spread. Decaying or necrotic tissue will always need to be either excised or amputated from the body. This is to prevent sepsis and eventual death. What's important is to make sure that the decaying tissue does not spread and rot other parts of the body. In Mangu's case, just 10% of the tail had been affected at first, but over the course of 5 days, over 50% of the tail had become necrotic. More of the skin and muscle had come off and some parts of the bone had fallen off as well. So the doctor started by shaving the fur around the tail and examining from where the tail needed to be cut. We basically did not want to amputate more than was necessary. After the amputation, the doctors made a flap to cover the exposed bone and without any necrotic tissue, the body would then start to heal again. It obviously depends on the injury, but Mangu needs to be with us for 10, maybe 12 days. The idea is to keep him in a clean environment with an e-collar to make sure that his tail heals without any issue. Hopefully, we'll be able to reunite him with his pack soon. And that's pretty much a short summary on necrosis using Mangu's case as an example. It's good that we managed to save a part of his tail because dogs use their tails to express emotions and also to communicate with other dogs and us humans. It also serves as their counterbalance when carrying out complicated movements like jumping, walking along narrow paths and much much more. Let us know down in the comments below if you found this video helpful. Lastly, we will be posting this video on both Instagram and YouTube. So show us some love maybe, check out a few of our videos and if you love our content, please do hit that like, subscribe and follow button. This is a Paw 5, see you next time.